Uh, now, this morning here on Sunrise, we've been showing you an exclusive report about real fur being used by major online retailers who all claim to be fur-free. Well, conservationist and TV presenter Annika Svenska is here to talk about this. Good morning, Annika. Hello. We spoke earlier in the year when Sky News started this investigation, and what we have discovered now is that on online retailers are claiming to be fur-free. However, they're mislabeling products. How are they doing this? Is this intentional or are they being caught out? Um, I think it's it's sloppy, basically. They should be checking everything that's coming through. And I think that there's, there's just so much stock coming through. It's fast fashion, isn't yes, it? Yes, and also what's, what's happening recently is we're seeing a massive um, re-emergence of fur on the high street. It's actually quite shocking. Every time I walk down the high street, I'm behind somebody that has a real fur bobble hat or real fur key ring or real fur trim. And um, I'm worried that half the time that the consumer doesn't actually know it's real fur. Because when you have these scraps of fur, what tends to happen is the retailers are marketing it as fur free because they're, they're um, marketing what this is made of, not the actual fur trim that's sitting on the top. And what ret retailers must do, and we must come down very hard on them, is they must check all their stock and they must label correctly. Because I think consumers a lot of the time don't actually know they're, we they're wearing um, fur, which has come from an incredibly cruel trade because China makes it so cheap these days um, because the animals are bred in horrific conditions, there's no vet care and sometimes they're skinned alive and I think the consumer, if they knew exactly the pain and the suffering behind all of this cheap fur, they would want to opt out mm. but at the moment, sometimes I, I confront people mm. and I actually say, do you realise you're wearing real fur and hat? They, don't. they have no well, idea. Well we've had a lot of people getting in touch on Twitter this morning saying they're absolutely horrified because if you order something online and it says fake fur then you think, oh, OK, and order mm. it. How can consumers double check? Right, OK, what they need to do is the consumer has to do it themselves because if they, well, first of all, I would say if you're worried, don't buy fur at all, whether it's fake or not. There's plenty of other alternatives. You can opt for something else. You don't have to wear something that looks like fur. But if you would like to have the full fur look and you want to be sure that it's fake, there's certain things that you can do. Real fur always has skin at the base, always, always. So if you part the fur when you're in the store and you have a look at the base, mm. you'll see the skin there. If it's fake fur, it it will be a wire, well not wire mesh, it will be a mesh sort of base that the, the fur is threaded into. Also, if you look at the, the tips of the fur, with, with real fur, it's pointed because it has to grow up through the skin. With fake fur, it's blunt because it gets cut off in the factory. And also, you can do a burn test, but don't obviously do that in the store. And if you burn real fur, it will smell like nails or real hair. So uh, the essence, um, well, the emphasis is really being put on consumers at the moment, but this cross-party of MPs are calling for a clampdown on foreign imports because as you mentioned that is where the problem originates yeah. from because they don't have the same rules and regulations as we do here in the UK and indeed in a lot of yeah. Europe as well. Yeah well, well fur farming was stopped a couple of decades ago in the UK because it was considered to be incredibly cruel and what's happening now is all these tiny little scraps are coming through from places mm. like China and you can put them in a bag and you don't have to say what animal it came from so people have been found to be wearing dogs and cat fur. Yes. Now this doesn't distract from the, the fact that all fur is incredibly cruel, whether it comes from a rabbit or whether mm. it comes from a dog. But in China, where they breed these animals, they are dying. They are, there, are, there are dead cage mates in the same mm. cage as them. They're, oh. You know, it's the most horrific conditions. They're, they're driven mental with lack of space and then they are cruelly killed, which they can be bludgeoned or skinned alive at the end of the day. And we just don't want to be wearing something that comes from mm. such a horrifically cruel trade. Yeah, Annika, you paint a horrifying picture, but important for people to understand the issue and maybe a few people at home might be considering some gifts that they've yeah. bought for people I mean, the other uh, thing, I'd, if I've got quickly time just to mention, that there's a store called Canada Goose mm. and they have a, a fur trim around the top and that's taken from coyotes. Now, coyotes are a dog and um, we wouldn't want to be wearing our dog, would we? OK, Annika, thank you very much. Uh, you can see Sky News' exclusive report uh, into those online retailers coming up at half past eight. Uh, also on the way, the latest sports headlines with Jackie. Plus, we'll be speaking to the actress Margaret Clooney. She's joining us to talk about the Victoria Christmas special.